Hey guys, this is Allie from Allie Nicole Bibliophiles, and this is my daughter. Can you tell them what your name is? Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie, but what is your real name? Natalie. Natalie? Yeah. Yeah. And we are coming to you today to show you some of our favorite bedtime books. The color of Pinkie Pie's face is pink. So, the first book we are... Pinkalicious Puptastic. Look at the doggy, and he's in the bathtub. Um, and you want to see the pages right now? I am very passionate about helping your child expand their imagination and kind of unplugging and getting back into books. A lot of that, you know, people think, well, they're not reading, they just haven't memorized, and that's totally fine. You know, that's really good for their brain. And so, this is what it looks like when Natalie reads to me. Can you read me this book? Two. And this book is about, they were walking to the park and um, um, the doggy was pink and, and the doggy was really fluffy and the neck's pink now. Mm-hmm. So. The, that dog is really fluffy, huh? Yeah, and, and the dog was flying. Flying. What is, what is the puppy catching? Um. What's that called? This. A disc or a frisbee? Disc. Okay. So, and now let's start to the next book. Okay. okay. When you guys meet my son, you'll notice that he, his whole life, has always used very mature language, and it always cracked me up because we just read to him. That's it. He went to preschool for two years at an awesome school here in our town that we live in, and now I'm all pink. you are pink. That is absolutely true. You are pink everywhere. And, and on that. that's it. He got read to. He says words now and he's, like I've said a couple times, he's seven and it just cracks me up. His preschool teacher used to say, he just talks like he's a little man. And we've never done any special, like educational anything with him at home besides reading. There's no educational program at home you're gonna do that is really gonna do the same thing as reading to your kids and reading with your kids. If you can find something to read to them or read with them and spend that quality time together, it's so good for their minds. Yeah, and um, and um, Pinkie Pie is a different version of um. Um, My Little Pony movies, and I wanted to be Trixie. Oh, okay. Okay, and Trixie, 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 Trixie. Okay, what is her name? <laughs> no. Pinkie Pie, and she's a different series. And I'm wondering if I could be the. If I could be Pinkie Pie all the way. So yes, the next books we want to talk about are Junie B. Jones, and my son loves these two. We have the first three here. Junie B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus, Junie B. Jones and A Little Monkey Business, and Junie B. Jones and Her Big Fat Mouth. What do you like about these books? She thinks, because she thinks the bus smells stinky. Yeah, she doesn't like the school bus, does she? No. But she always has to go to the school bus. Because mm -hmm. she did it. And, um, I didn't know, but what should we learn right now? So. Hey, just hold on a second. Let me see this. Okay. One thing about these books that I appreciate is that Junie B. Jones, if you've read her books, which if you're from the 90s, I'm sure you you know. Junie B. Jones is a classic. 90s kid memorabilia right here. And this opens up a lot of discussion about the way you treat your friends and the way you are to be respectful towards adults, teachers, parents, and the like. Junie B. Jones tends to have a little bit of a mouth on her and she doesn't always control her temper that well. So it opens up a lot of discussion and a lot of the times it's led by the kids. They're like, wow. If, done. She doesn't say very nice things. Like she says stupid in here a lot and my kids aren't allowed to say stupid. Is stupid a bad word? Yes. Yeah, it is. I, I hate that word. Oh. You don't love saying it. No, I don't love saying it. So you should just say um, real kind of things that are not bad questions, but in, in here it is really sassy. Yeah, she's and sassy. And sassy like this. I mean, Do you know anyone I mean, else who's I... sassy? I don't know. Do you know anyone else who's sassy? 
lot of you. <laughs> you knock over the bed all the time. My husband and I take turns reading chapter books with my, our son, Kyler, because he's uh, he's able to comprehend books that are read to him at a fifth grade level now. So we read chapter books with him. We're going through Roald Dahl and, you know, I'm going to go through the books that we've read this past year with him. It's coming up soon. That'll be probably my next video. But Natalie gets to pick three books at night to go to bed. And um, when she gets sick of the, our, our classics, our go-tos, we usually go to the library and pick up three for the week and then we'll turn them back in and then we'll go back to the ones we have. And if she gets sick of them, we'll go back to the library. Our library is awesome. Yeah. There is even a white fluffy bear that that can stay at the library yes. and it's so fluffy with two little couches. Yes, and she always wants to take the big fluffy bear home, huh? And you get yeah. mad when we can't bring it home. Yeah. Yeah. My mommy and I. It's called My Mommy and I, so um it's the first book that we read. And that is their mom, not the dad, but I just don't know if they have a dad in the book or not. It's about balloons in this page. So, and um, I love balloons and I love to take only one home, but usually, most of the times, balloons are fun to play with. And I got one before, and white mom mm -hmm. got one before. And it was, um, and my balloon was blue. So, and it's, it's, it's mommy's turn to talk with the book. And I think Nana got it for us, but I just don't remember if we had it or not before, but I, I think we got it from the library or not, but we didn't. So, I think, actually, I remember if, I remember somebody gave us this book. This is one of my favorite books ever. It's like falling apart because uh, when Kyler was little, we read this every single night and I had it memorized for the longest time. It's called I Love You Stinky Face and it is so cute. Okay, my turn. So, and you wanna see the picture and it's so funny and stinky. And stinky, pew. So the first page is that, but. Well, it's about this little boy and he's asking his mom, if I was a blah, 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 would you still love me then? And she says, if you were a blah, 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 I would feed you cheeseburgers and brush your big teeth and I would blah, 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 blah. Ooh. Okay. And it's about cakes. Look, I just think it's so cute. And, and it's about cakes. A slimy swamp monster. Okay. Let me go. Go ahead. Page that I'm liking it, and it has a, a big pink cake with white on the top, and it has bananas on the side. Mm -hmm. That's one of our favorites, huh? And it is called A B C D E F G Coconut Tree. Chicka chicka boom boom. Chicka chicka boom boom. Will there be enough room? <laughs> I remember reading this with my first grade teacher. Okay, well, see the first big. And I remember our whole class like screaming it. And that made me. And that was the first, second page that I like. A lot of ABCs and warned. And I love this book with all the ABCs right here. And oh, and we try to see what ones um are um the letters okay and it's your turn with this one. Love you. you're so cute okay your are a little bit pink with dots <laughs> okay and uh we loved this book my son loved this book it was another one that he could basically uh memor he memorized and could recite without any help when he was like five so this is a fun one. I highly recommend. If I can recommend any book to you guys to and start this with, is the first this is an book. awesome one. And this is the awesome one that I really want it's so to fun. read. And it is so fun when you read it in the dark. But and um the and a long time ago we we sleep outside in the camper. 
Yep. Bad nation that you never had. And it is called... Remember what it's called? It's called the present. The perfect present. Pretty close. I, and mom, 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 she asked to try again. This is called the perfect present. Yep. And what happens in this story? The perfect present. And the first, and you can get all, all the series of the boxes, right? Mm-hmm. And the first series of the box is this. Well, let's tell them what it's about. It's a little boy who has a pet duck. Yeah. And then and he gets... surprises with the box. And surprises from... Remember, he gets a puppy? Christmas! For his birthday. Yep. And then the duck thinks that he doesn't... That the little boy doesn't want him anymore. So what does he do? Runs away from the house. Yep. And then the puppy and the little boy find him. Yeah. Right? And then they all go home together. And then um, the duck was carrying a, a case and, and then it fell. And then In the, the duck, river? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, 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 the, little, and the little boy had to bring his fishing rod and then catch him with it. Yep. That's what and happened. And get his um, um, case. Yep. Good job. Good synopsis. Let's talk to them about our perfect pumpkin book. We love this book too. And it's called the Pumpkin Patch Parable. And um What happens in this one? Um Um the um the pumpkin patch man um did um put it a candle in the pumpkin and then and then um in the dark. Yep. And it shows us how God picks us, like this farmer picked the pumpkin. And and That's he scoops a, out all the yucky stuff from inside yeah, us. Yeah, the seeds. Uh -huh. And the yucky, like, stream. Mm-hmm. And then okay. and he puts that, his light inside of us and we shine like a jack-o'-lantern. And you want to see? Yep, that's pulling out all the guts. All right. And you want to see the, the other page? Oh, there it is at the end. This is one of her favorites. This is and, Goodnight Stories. Yeah, and it has a lot of characters in it. You got this from Papa and Mima, huh? Yeah. Yep, and you got, hold on, hold, oh, slow down, slow down. Okay, this is the um, contents, so you get to and, pick your story. And you pick your story. It has the little mermaid. What else is in here, Rapunzel? Yeah, Rapunzel and- um, Rumble still skin. And they're just really short, you know, they're not super long. And there is Rapunzel. Yep, Rapunzel. With her long hair. Yep, there's a little mermaid. That is a first a page. Want to see the, the other page? That. And I love that dress. I wish I had that dress. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about our last book that we read all the time, yeah. okay? What's this it's, one called? It's called the... <gasps> can't say it. I have to try. It's called the, the Little Ark. Good Night Ark. Oh, let me try again. It's called the Good Night Ark. The, it has rain in it and thunder. Mm -hmm. like, what happens on the ark with the animals? Um, um, the animals all go into the man's bed and then, and then, um, it and then what does the skunk do? It scared the skunk and he went <laughs> <laughs> and stunk it up, huh? <laughs> and it actually, it goes like this. Well, <gasps> 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 getting into Noah's bed. It's super cute. Thanks for watching our video today, guys. And if you're watching our video, and have a thumbs up in the comments below. I hope you subscribe and you and if you want to see this video again just um come in the thumbs up below <laughs> say bye bye, bye. thumbs up if you want to see this channel again just have a thumbs up in the comments below <laughs> bye